of these giant partnerships, these commercial partnerships, well, they're very uh, alert to minimize their tax burden. So they made sure that the form they have to fill out, like you have to fill out 1040, they have to fill out their tax form, did not have a line that said, what other partnerships are you interconnected with? Okay? Your people in Washington made sure that line is not there. The head of the IRS, Rossetti, was asked at a congressional hearing, what does that cost the government in terms of revenue? Seven billion dollars. That one line. So how much are you willing to spend on your senator's representative to get that one line excised or not printed? That's what's going on. Yes? Um, I'm going to refer to your old friend General Motors. Yes. Also known as Generous Motors. Yes. Uh, they have, they were saved by everybody to get back in business, and they're doing pretty well, as I read in the Wall Street Journal. But they have a two-tier uh, yes. wage scale. They yeah. have the union wages and they have the Walmart wages. Where in the hell has the UAW been to allow this kind of, would you explain that to these people here in Portland? Yes, they developed, well first of all, GM was so mismanaged, especially by its uh, finance arm, during the uh, go-go years, you know, a few years ago before the Wall Street crash, that it went, it went bankrupt. I mean, I've been on GM's back for <laughs> 50 years, and not once did I ever dream that it would go bankrupt. I mean, this was the most solidly capitalized asset firm you can imagine. So they're going bankrupt. So you're the head of the UAW, and you're saying, holy smoke, we can all go down. So we better cut a deal. So they got the government to basically bail out Chrysler and GM in pretty vicious ways for injured people, by the way. They immunized uh, them from pending product liability lawsuits for defective cars. And they gave the UAW pension fund stock in, instead of what they should be getting in terms of contributions. The stock, uh, when GM re-entered the stock market, stabilized at about 32 bucks. It's now about 23 bucks. So it's going down, even though the profits are going up. So the share that the UAW owns is going down in value. Well, you own it too. The government still owns about 20 some percent of General Motors. And it was going to sell it, except the stock kept going down, and Obama didn't want to have red ink on his hands in the GM bailout in return for government stock. Make a long story short. The labor deal you referred to said, okay, uh, we're not going to give the existing workers any pay increase for a while. We may give them an incentive bonus. But the new workers are going to start at 14 bucks an hour. This is very hard work. You ever work in an assembly line? This is very hard work. Or regardless of the automation, the workers that are left, constant, boom, constant, constant pressure. And sometimes dangerous, like in the painting rooms, the fumes, 14 bucks an hour. Now, uh, Walmart has this unspoken message to its domestic suppliers. If you can't meet the China price, shut down and open up in China, okay? Well now, big business is saying to workers, Pretty much in the next 20, 25 years, you better meet the China wage price. 